Exactly 50 years ago, Farnham boy Mike Hawthorne roared to victory, becoming Britain's first ever Formula One world champion. Ready, ready, and I'm ready, ready, ready to rock and roll. In the 1920s and 30s, this place was the home of British motor racing. A young Mike would come here to Brooklands with his father to watch them race and decided that it was his destiny to get behind the wheel. Much like Lewis Hamilton, Mike Hawthorne caused a sensation right from the beginning of his career, coming fourth in his debut race in 1952 and famously winning his first Grand Prix for Ferrari in 1953. In 1958, after just six years, he beat Sterling Moss by just one point to become Britain's first ever Formula One world champion. Of course I had a fierce rivalry, of course I did. He was driving a damn Ferrari when I was driving a Van Wall. You know, we wanted to beat him and he wanted to beat me. I mean, simple as that. In reality, you were really either a Hawthorne fan or a Moss fan. I mean, here's Mike, he's six foot something, blonde, beer drinking, you know, and all that. And, and I'm sort of five foot six and eight with thick socks. We got along very well. Uh, people couldn't believe that. They always thought because we were, we were fighting like hell on the track, uh, that, uh, you know, that we liked that person. It wasn't a fact. Immediately after his win, Hawthorne announced his retirement from Formula One. He was battling ill health and reportedly suffering from blackouts. Just three months later, here on the A3 near Farnham, he died when his high-powered Jaguar Mark I left the road and hit a tree. Mike Hawthorne wasn't just a great racing driver. He was a larger-than-life character straight out of a boy's own adventure or the Eagle comic. A man who, in his trademark bow tie, pushed everything in life to its limits. I think my should have left Lewis Hamilton the legacy, really, of the thrill of motor racing. It isn't dangerous like it was, but I think the thrill is still there. The sound and, and what the cars do, and, and ab above all things, uh, Lewis, to me, is an exciting driver. Mike was exciting. There aren't many exciting drivers, and I call them racers because they're real racers, and, and that's what it's all about. 